Good morning, GMS. I'm Moses. And I'm Lizzie. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of December 7th. The 2020-21 yearbook, GMS yearbooks, are still on sale. Go to www.yearbookforever.com to order yours today. The price will be going up, so lock in these savings by ordering your yearbook today. A reminder, GMS students, the second nine weeks ends on December 18th. Remember to get all your grades in line as the 2F rule applies to all winter and spring sports. As we continue our hybrid schedule here at GMS, students are reminded to take attendance on the days they are learning at home. You do not have to take attendance on Wednesday, but you do have to take on any other day while e-learning at home. If you don't know how to take, take attendance for your, a class, ask your teacher. If your family is in need of Christmas assistance, email or call our student advisor, Mrs. McGuire. Students, remember, wear your mask. You need to have your nose and mouth covered at all times. This includes when talking to your friends. Thanks for your understanding and cooperation. GMS students, one more picture retake day is tomorrow, Tuesday, December 8th. Now let's go to the interview of the week, top trending in the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Emma here with GMS Choir Director and General Music Teacher, Ms. Linkler. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. How are you? Good. Good. Would, would you like to start telling us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I've been the Choir Director and General Music Teacher here for, this is my 13th year now. Um, this is the first job I got right out of college, and I've been here ever since. I um, have a dog and a cat. And actually, the dog's birth, my dog Millie, it's her birthday today. Um, and I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and a Disney fan and like to read and cook and sew and bake. Cool. What's your favorite place to visit and why? Ooh, that's a toss up between two different places. Top Sail Island, North Carolina is my favorite place to vacation and relax because it's a beach and it's gorgeous and I love it. But I also am a big fan of Disney and going to Disney and experiencing the Disney parks. Actually, if you can see, I have my Disney Christmas sweatshirt on today. What is it like teaching at the same school as your sister and her husband? Well, it certainly means a lot of family togetherness. Um, which is good because I get along with them very well. So it's nice because if, you know, if I'm having a bad day, I have somebody I can automatically go and talk to if I need to. So it's actually pretty good. And I'm thankful that we get along so well and that I'm able to see them every day and get not a lot of people get to spend that much time with their family. Yeah. How many Hallmark and Lifetime Christmas movies have you watched so far? Um, this year, um, well, I don't really do the Lifetime Christmas movies. I'm a big Hallmark Christmas movie fan. So I think this year I've done seven so far. I counted them up, seven. Um, all time, it's way too many to count because I, every year I kind of just binge some Hallmark Christmas movies. Puts me in the Christmas spirit. Do you consider Gremlins to be a Christmas movie? I'm going to be honest with you, I've never seen Gremlins, so I can't tell you one way or another about that one, but maybe I need to put it on my Christmas movie watching list and give it a chance, and then I can get back to you and let you know what I decide. If you could make one change here at GMS, what would it be? You know what? I'm going to be honest. I really miss the courtyard from the old building. Like, it was nice to be able to, like, just have that courtyard that you could go out and, like, just sit in. Sometimes you could take your classes out. So I think that's the thing that I would change the most about this current school is just having a courtyard and having that ability to spend some time outside. Thank you for coming on our show today, Ms. Lincourt. Have a great week. Thanks. You too. Hello. Welcome to Top Trending, where we show the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Colby, and let's get started with number three. Did you know there was a real Willy Wonka? In Australia, there was a man named Sir McPherson Robinson. It turns out, it turns out that there was, the real Willy Wonka had been living long before Ronald Dahl's version of fictional character. The real Willy Wonka was just like the movie version. Robinson was known to be seen everywhere where, when he went wearing a white suit and a white hat. He often ran competitions for people to get sweet treats from his huge factory called the White City. Did Ronald Dahl get his fictional character from Robinson? I guess we'll never know. 
Number two, his name is Quilty, but he is guilty. In Houston, Texas, a six-year-old shelter cat named Quilty left his friends out of the shelter again and again. Quilty the cat is an internet sensation after letting his inmates out. The people who work at the animal shelter say Quilty loves to let cats out of the senior room. One time Quilty got temporarily banished from the lobby so the room was, can be turned cat proof. The people who work at the Friends for Life Animal Rescue and Adoption Organization say that Quilty is mischievous and has quite a personality. Quilty has been recently adopted for his forever home. Number one, wildlife officials in California said that they captured and re relocated a black bear that became famous online for its repeated visits to the gas station convenience store. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife said the bear, which became a viral celebrity after security cameras recorded pilfering snacks from inside the Chevron gas station in Kings Beach on multiple occasions. The bear was later revealed to be a 16-year-old male. I guess the bear lost his appetite for fish and moved on to Pringles and candy instead. Good morning, GMS. I'm Lily, and let's take a look at the sports for this week. On Monday, December 7th, the 6th grade boys will have a basketball game away at Shelbyville Middle School at 5 p.m. The 7th grade boys will have a basketball game at home versus Center Grove North Middle School at 5.30. On Thursday, December 10th, the 7th grade boys will have a basketball game at home versus the Franklin Community Middle School at 5.30. 8th grade boys will have a basketball game away at Franklin Community Middle School at 5.30. Thanks for watching the sports. Have a great week, everybody.